So no matter what you do with your AI, no matter how good your prompts are, no matter how much thought and effort you actually put into them, and no matter how many gurus you actually listen to about your prompts, you're still getting wooden responses. They kind of like sound as if they came from a 1985 fax machine. And look, here's the thing. AI that we have, that we get, like ChatGPT, which is awesome and I love, Gemini, which is awesome and I love, Manus is the, the new kind of thing. These, these that, the, that the front public actually gets and faces, basically, these are the general version. Okay, so they're the, the towing the line version. They're not created with kind of any mad random kookiness. They're not created with kind of like, you know, weirdness to them. So what we're getting when we put in our prompts, no matter how good they are, is just their, that general version of their understanding. Now, we want to be able to play with the AI, okay? Especially us non-techies. We want to be able to play with the AI that isn't going to kind of like screw us over mentally. We're not going to have to be dealing with code. We're not going to be, have to be too difficult down in the trenches of learning all this stuff. And the way that we do this is with Google Gemini AI Studio. And it's free. It's probably one of my favorite tools at the moment and you're going to see why it's going to take that boring fax machine as i said writing and turn it into creative genius or however you actually want it to be that's what i love about it we're going to be able to control our ai and to make it basically if we want it kooky we're going to be able to make it kooky if we want more word usage, we're going to be able to add more word usage. If we don't want word usage, if we just want easy to read communication, well, then we can have that as well. But that all comes down to understanding how to kind of tune what I call the chaos dials inside of the AI. So let's be talking. Okay, let's just get into it. So here we are over in Google AI Studio. Now I'm a massive fan of Google AI Studio and especially when it comes to creating and testing content and the nuances of artificial intelligence, okay? One of the things I love about it and which you will too, obviously it's free and it also has experimental AI models, okay? So if you come over here, just click create a prompt, okay? I'll leave a link to Google AI Studio down below. Um, you come over here, you click create a prompt. If you come over here, what this basically does is this shows you the different models that you can actually play with. You got Gemini, Gemini Flash, Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental, Flash, Flash Image Generator, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So if you come over to 2.5, experimental basically means that it hasn't been set in stone that the model is basically what it is and it's currently some of the features are being tested it's not being kind of like a hundred percent ready okay which basically means that you get to play around with cool ai that aren't fully uh created yet that's a that's a, a hard thing to say but we're gonna we're not gonna use the experimental we're gonna use flash for this 2.0 okay and what we're going to basically do is we're going to be testing things called temperature and top P. Now, basically what these are, are temperatures almost like this chaos dial. Okay. How chaotic do you want your AI to actually think? Do you want it to be kind of like uh, a little robot or do you want it to be this mad kooky genius? So that's why I love it because there's, I, I just love how we can play with the AI to get the, the kind of personality that we want from it. And you can do this in ChatGPT as well, but you've got to pay for it and you've got to go into ChatGPT Playground and it's not as easy to do inside of Google AI Studio, okay? And then what you've got down here is a thing called Top P. Now, Top P basically means how many words the AI can take to complete the next word in a sentence because AI doesn't, work like us it doesn't think in kind of complete sentences it thinks what is the most probable word to go next within that sentence now the lower the top p the less words that it has to choose from the higher the top p the more words so the more human nuance that it actually has to pick from so what we're going to do is we're just going to use the temperature first of all okay and we're going to compare 
Okay, so we're going to compare something with a high temperature, something with a low temperature. Normal, this number one here, as you can see, it goes down to zero. And then one is just normal. One is what you get kind of like in a normal ChatGPT or a normal Google Gemini, okay? So if we go down to zero, that's quite robotic. If we go up to two, that's crazy. So what we want to do basically is we want to compare the, the, the temperatures and we want to see the, the information that we get back. So we come, we clicked compare, which was up there, is going to compare the two models. Now we're going to come in here. We're going to put one down to zero. Okay, and we're going to put one down or one up, excuse me, one up to two. Okay, and we're just going to say we're not going to put in any system instructions or anything like that. Write uh, a short paragraph on why Dublin is great. It's easy. Okay, we're not asking it anything poetic or anything like that. And so, what it's basically going to do is all right, so super, super quick. Okay, so. Dublin is a city that effortlessly blends history and modernity, offering a vibrant and welcoming atmosphere. From the cobblestone streets of Temple Bar, alive with tradition. Just sounds like boring AI, like really does. And that's what most of the internet is built on, unfortunately, okay? Then we've got we, our, our, our bit of chaos in here. Dublin's vibrant atmosphere is simply infectious. The city seamlessly blends a rich history, visible in its stunning architecture and historic landmarks like Dublin Castle with modern and bursting, bustling energy. So what we can see in here is we can see, okay, there is a massive difference in these. There really is. So we can see that one is very robotic. One basically is, um, you know, it's it's got, it's got Dublin poetic history. It's got Seamus Heaney in there, you know. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do and we're going to create a new prompt and we're going to test basically top P. And what top P basically is, as I said, it's they call it a, a human nuance style. OK, so the nuances of the words that we actually use. So we're going to get it to do the, the Dublin is great again, but we're going to get it to compare. OK, and we're just going to keep the temperatures at one. We're going to come down to here and we're going to put this down to one and then over here. We're going to put this up to 9.5, okay? So that's great. So it's going to be stuck at that. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to click run, and we're going to be able to see the word difference, the word usage difference. So Dublin is a city that effortlessly blends history and modernity, offering a vibrant and welcoming atmosphere from cobblestone streets to Temple Bar, alive with traditional music and lively pubs. The serene beauty of St. Stephen's Green actually is quite nice. How about this one? Dublin is a vibrant and captivating city that effortlessly blends rich history and modern energy from the cobbled streets and grand architecture to the lively pubs echoing with traditional music. You can see the difference. Now, while we, while top P basically, it is about nuance. So it takes a little bit more to see the difference between top P and temperature. But when used together, that's when magic starts to happen. So there's a brief intro in terms of what that is. Now we're going to look at it in the context of what we do with online business. So why is it important to us? Well, if you think about it in the context of what it is that we do, if we write sales letters, okay, we don't want that sales letter to be written like as if somebody was writing a damn insurance policy. So we got to think like more creative on that side of things. You know, and if we are doing YouTube scripts, we want to ensure that, you know, there's surprise in there, that it flows well. So we've got to be hitting high temperatures and high top P's in there as well. So let's go and actually look at a new one, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to use a prompt like this, okay? And we're going to put the temperature to 0.6. And we're going to put our nuance dial up to here. And let's see how this runs here. So ditch the desk and embrace the algorithm how I'm using AI to escape the nine to five grind. Let's face it, the nine to five isn't for everyone. A soul crushing commute, the monotonous task, the feeling of being a cog in a machine. Okay, so you see the, the top P in there. You see the nuance, like the, the cog in a machine. It's not a word that most people will use. While it is used quite a bit, it is a word that, or it is a, a word phrase that isn't used quite often. It's enough to make anyone dream of a different reality. So again, these are, these are different nuances of human writing. So let's have a look if we put now, we're gonna create a prompt, gonna put it in there again. 
and we're going to put the temperature up to two and we're going to run it. Let's see what comes out of here. Remember, we're, we're going to be a little bit kooky in here as well. This is what it's going to see. The fluorescent light, the soul crushing commute, the endless meetings that have that could have been emails. Let's face it, the nine to five isn't for everyone. For years, I dreamt of breaking free, of pursuing passions and designing a life on my own terms. Look, I like this type of writing. I like this type of writing. And you're not getting this from your AI. And the reason you're not getting it from your AI is because they're at a temperature like one and their human nuance dial is like at a temperature of 0.5, okay? So you can come in here and test these yourself. Let's give it another go in here. But I just want you to realize you got to play around with this stuff in here. Okay. There's, there's some awesome tools actually inside of here. I'll do a lot more videos on them as well, but just play around with your temperature and your top P and get used to seeing the output that you're getting and also use the compare function here. So let's do another prompt here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do one for YouTube. Okay. So give me three emotional YouTube video hooks for the topic, make 1k with AI this week. Okay. And we're just actually, we're going to put top P, uh, we're, let's put it up at one. Okay. And we're going to keep temperature at one as well. Now we're going to run it. Okay. Here are three emotional YouTube video hooks. Okay. Visual fear, desperation, open with a shot of bills piled up on a table, concerned face staring at them. Hook rents due. Okay. It's quite nice. I uh, like it. The fridge is almost empty. Okay. But you can see it's very, it's very plain. It's very vanilla. Okay. Uh, hook the dream of financial freedom of finally saying yes to the things you want in life. Again, vanilla, 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 vanilla. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy that again. We're going to do that in here and I'm just going to pop the temperature up here and let's see what we get in here. Okay. Here are three different validation seeking. Okay. So we can already see these are, 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 are normal things, fear, desperation, but then these, this is cool. Validation seeking. Okay. Visual shot of an average guy just sitting at his desk. I was at, I was at where you're at and trying everything. Okay. So again, remember the, when it goes up high, we're giving it free range to be as kooky as anything. And that can sometimes lead to issues like this. Okay. I was where you're at. I'm trying everything, but finding only schemes to part someone like you with their scant funds. Untilly AI took me for three digits. All right. So. Look at, as you can see, that's a, that's crazy. That doesn't even make sense in here. So scorn, let's look, cut to two random people, look alike audience saying, hate influencer flashing how this tool takes uh, the smart to heights. Okay, look, I would dial that back. Okay, I'd dial that back, okay, again. But that's a really great example of the differences in what you're actually getting back from it. Look, get stuck in here. Tell me in the comments below what it is that you're actually doing with this. I'd love to hear, you know, some of like even your favorite controls in there. Did you find a temperature and a top P that basically you enjoyed? Look, my name has been Kieran Doyle. Hope you've enjoyed this. Check out my other videos. There's a great one on eBooks in 2025, which potentially utilized with this could be a game changer for you. So I'll leave a link to that down below as well. Keep it easy, my friend.